see you again. I was wondering if you were gonna be here this time. So yeah, um, so this is my third time to Saudi Arabia and I love coming to this country. It's one of my favorite places to come. Um, I know you all are looking forward to coming to the United States, but we love to be able to travel and meet you guys where you're living and this is probably one of the coolest countries that I've got to come to. So uh, thank you for welcoming us with open arms. The people here are amazing and we always feel very well taken care of. Um, I'm joined today by a very cool team, so I don't need to introduce them again, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through a presentation of some of the most commonly asked questions that we get from um, our foreign educated healthcare professionals that are interested in coming to the United States. So hopefully we cover a lot of the information that you might have questions about. Um, if we don't, and as we go along, if you have additional questions, feel free to like put them in your phone. I use notes in my phone, <laughs> um, or you know, jot them down on a piece of paper, and we'll make sure at the end we give you a chance to ask them. Um, and also, what we're gonna do at the end is actually go, we have a separate room over there, and if you are interested in potentially coming to America, um, we would like to talk to you individually and see if maybe this could potentially be a good fit for you and we could be a partner in your journey in getting to the United States. Does that make sense? Yes. Everybody on board? Okay, cool. So let's get started. We got a lot of ground to cover um, and hopefully we answer all the questions that you possibly have. So the first question is, what is Healthcare Cell International and what do they do? <laughs> so um, Healthcare Cell is actually one of the largest healthcare staffing agencies in the United States. We have a domestic travel nurse division, or is anyone in here aware of like travel nursing in the United States? They do per diem nursing, they'll do like 13 week assignments traveling around. Um, so that's domestic in the United States. We, we all strictly work in our international division. So what we do is help nurses like yourself, um, or I know we have med techs in here as well, um, that are coming from outside the United States. We help get them visas and bring them to the United States to work at our client hospital facilities across America. We have clients in all 50 states. So we're a very large healthcare staffing company. Um, we are, our, our offices are located in Cincinnati, Ohio, where we work. Um, has anyone in here ever heard of Ohio before as a state? No. I'm seeing a couple of nods, but not a whole lot. <laughs> so clearly it's not the most popular state in America. I know most of you guys are probably thinking about California. We got California Dreamers, um, New York. You're probably thinking about the popular destinations, but what I'm gonna ask you to do is think about all the different places in America. We all are from Ohio. We love living in Ohio. It's um, a very cool place to live. And we actually have some cool hospitals there that are looking for nurses. So if you are interested in Ohio, we can talk to you about that. But we have a lot of other opportunities in other states. But that's where we all live. That's where we work. That's where our corporate offices are. We also have affiliate offices in the Philippines. So I know there's a lot of Filipino nurses in here as well. Um, we have offices in Manila and in Cebu, and we travel there quite a bit as well. Um, but increasingly over the last seven or eight, nine years, um, we have started to diversify. And we recruit nurses from 105 plus different countries around the world. So um, we travel to a lot of places. Um, I've been to Africa and Korea and the UK and a lot of different places where we meet nurses from all over the world. So um, yeah, let's see here. How do I know if I can trust Passport USA as my partner in this journey? So we take ethical healthcare recruitment um, very seriously. I think in the last several years, there's been definitely more knowledge going around about there's a lot of scams out there, there's a lot of companies who promise, um, over-promise a lot of things, take money from people, disappear, hold documents. Um, we have been in business for over 17 years now, and um, I have been with the company for 10 years, and I can assure you we take it very seriously. So we are members of the AAIHR, which is the American Association of International Healthcare Recruitment. We are also members of the CGFNS Alliance. I know most of you have probably heard of CGFNS, um, but essentially what that means is we hold ourselves to some, some very high standards in terms of our recruitment um, practices and our processes, um, and make sure that all of our nurses and our med techs and all of our professionals are treated with, um, you know, professionally and taken care of in getting, you know, to immigrate to the United States. So. Uh, we again we've helped over I believe 4,000 healthcare professionals and their families immigrate to the United States in our time in business. So um, I think that itself you know speaks for itself. So yeah, let's go to the next slide. 
Um, okay, so Ms. Michelle, I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna put you right on the spot, I'm gonna have you help me out with these slides. So, um, everybody give me a big count to, uh, hand to Michelle. So this is actually the first time she's done one of these trips with us, and I'm really excited to have her. Um, and we're gonna talk through some nursing, and actually when we're done with our Q&A, she's gonna do an additional like educational presentation for you guys and talk you through nursing in America, so you can feel free to ask her whatever questions you want to. But the first question that we get is, is there a nurse? What are we, we're 23, almost 24, aren't we? Um, so in the next four to eight years, we are gonna need an additional 3.4 million nurses added to um, the nursing staff in the United States just to take care of our population that we have. So it is um, in much desire right now and is going to continue to grow. All right, um, what professions does Health Carousel International recruit for? We recruit mainly nurses, but we also are, we have a big need for medical technologists right now. So I think, do we have any med techs in the room? No, everybody, is everybody in here nurses? Yeah, maybe, okay. Um, so mainly nurses, med techs, um, PTs, um, and in the past, we have helped occupational therapists and speech language, speech language pathologists, but the educational requirements are a bit different than they were in the past, so that's a little more complicated. So right now, we're mainly looking for nurses and med techs. What specialties do we accept? Um, we accept all specialties. I'm gonna let you kind of go into that a little bit, kind of in terms of what that looks like. Yeah, so all specialties. So we try to line you up with whatever matches your skill set and your expertise that you're currently practicing in. So if there is emergency nursing or critical care, um, we will try to align you with that. Um, I'm trying to think what else. There's long-term care. Um, things look a little different from country to country. So when you work with Sonia's team, um, you, she will dig into that to find out a lot of information and to see where you would align. Yeah, so we do mainly our facilities that we're recruiting for are acute care hospitals. That is the main um, facilities that we recruit for. She mentioned we do have a couple long-term care facilities, but for the most part when we interview you, we are really looking to make sure that you have the ability to transfer into working in an acute care hospital because that's where our main needs are at right now. Um, what states do we have with client locations? So we are in all 50 states at this point. Like I said, we're one of the largest healthcare staffing agencies in the United States. Um, do I get to choose where I'll be assigned if I choose Passport USA as my partner and coming to America? So yes, the answer is yes. Um, we would never force someone to go to a state or city that they didn't want to go to, right? Um, now, obviously, the more open-minded that you are about the states that you're going to go to, the more options you're going to have, you know? So we have, I say we have clients in all states, and we do, but we don't force our clients to take our healthcare professionals either. So how the process works is if you were to join our program, once we get your visa petition filed with USCIS, we can sort of put a timeline on approximately when you'll be arriving to the United States, and at that point in time, we will have you start talking to our client facilities that have open job orders that fit your skill set. So they interview you, like you will interview with them directly, and if they decide you're a good fit, they will extend you an offer, and it's your choice. Okay, thank you so much. A round of applause once again for our speakers from Passport USA. So they will be moving to the different room. To Are we going to do a raffle prize? Later. Yeah. Oh, oh, later. Okay, okay. We will do the orders. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. Thank you so much for coming. So they will be calling you one by one for your assessment, personal assessment to the other room. So just stairs, visible seats. Okay. Yeah. So we will be having our 10 minutes break. For everybody, we have our free refreshments over here. You can have your coffee, water.